Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of a horror film from Romania. If you don't like subtitles, you don't have to worry because although it's Romanian, it's in fact spoken in English because the director is from England. So 2009 release, directed by Faye Jackson, and this film is called Strigoi the Undead. And the story to Strigoi is as follows. When Vlad returns home to his village after some time away at college, he discovers that all is not quite right. Constantin, the local landowner, is supposedly dead, but why is he up at night stalking the neighbourhood, and what does he need all of those pickles for? So the movie centres on Vlad. Now this is really a twist on the vampire genre. Strigoi means the undead, and it basically means vampires, but it's a very different sort of vampire. So Vlad is the main character. He is returning home to his rural town in Romania from a stint abroad in Italy. Um, he was studying in Italy. And now he has been sent back home for reasons that I'm not going to go to. But he gets back home to his rural town in Romania and he realizes that things are very off. Now, the local wealthy landowner has died and the locals have told Vlad that it was an accident. But Vlad starts to suspect that it wasn't an accident. So he starts to do his own investigation along with the local uh, police chief. So when he starts to uncover the truth, it is certainly not what he expected. And it has something to do with Strigoi. And it also has something to do with locals bickering over land rights. So it becomes very complicated and Vlad is smack bang in the middle of it. So if you want to know how the movie unfolds and what the secret is, please go out there and see this film for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with a synopsis. Now my thoughts on the film. I had high expectations going into this one because I've been told that it's a very different approach to vampires. Now we all know that Twilight took a fresh approach to the vampire genre, but for me it really damaged it. So I wanted something a little bit different again. I wanted something a little bit darker, and this film promised that. And for the most part, as far as visuals are concerned, it does promise a very darker kind of um, subgenre of vampire. So. As far as mood is concerned, I do feel that it matches the more traditional vampire sense. It actually reminded me of Let the Right One In. Now, Let the Right One In is a completely different film. It is miles better than this movie, but it had the same sort of very cold, very cruel sort of atmosphere, that it was a very unforgiving world. And this movie really does have it. So Faye Jackson proves that he, she is very, very talented behind a camera because she mixes a very dull approach with a very stylish approach. It kind of feels like you're in a fantasy world, but at the same time, you're, you're staying in the realms of reality. Uh, the soundtrack really helped capture the European feel that she wanted. Apparently, her husband is Romanian, so she wanted to honour Romania in this film, and I think that as far as visuals and audio are concerned, she really captures Romania, and she does a good job of it. So, uh, as far as visuals, as far as camera technique, is concerned there were some very interesting camera angles as well so I really got into it straight from the start because it's a very atmospheric film and it really does promise something that is horrifying unfortunately it doesn't deliver on what it promises now it's supposed to be a horror comedy drama for a horror, it's just not that scary. For a comedy, it's just not that funny. And for a drama, it's just not that dramatic. But on all three genres, it promises to deliver off it, but it never really strives for it. And it really does tell me that Faye Jackson put all of her eggs in one basket, but she never shook the basket. She never allowed those eggs an opportunity to break. Now, what I mean by that is some directors will take a risk. Sometimes it falls flat, but I can appreciate that because they're not playing it safe. Faye Jackson had the ideas to play a risk, but she never, ever falls flat because she never has an opportunity. So the movie comes across, and I can really sum up this uh, movie in one word, dull. And because of the fact she didn't take any risk, she just let it play off in one year. Now, my biggest problem with the movie and the biggest contributing factor to the fact that it was so dull was the fact that it's a Romanian movie, Romanian actors, set in Romania, but spoken in English. So as far as the drama is concerned, the acting didn't come across as authentic. So I couldn't connect with any of the characters. Although the characters were quite well drawn out, the fact that they were speaking in a language they're not totally familiar with and they can't really get their full use out of, I didn't connect with them because they didn't come across as authentic. They came across as someone reading a script. So as far as drama is concerned, it really fails. And that goes along with the comedy as well. Now, Faye Jackson, the, the comedy wasn't that funny to begin with. I thought some of the jokes in the film were quite juvenile, but most of the other jokes, the more intelligent jokes, weren't delivered properly because, as I said, it is not done in their native language. Therefore, the punchlines weren't delivered very well. So I just didn't find myself laughing at all. And as far as drama is concerned, I didn't feel myself connecting with the characters. Now, it's supposed to be a horror 
horror film, but it's just not that horrifying. It does center on vampires, Strigoi. And the, um, the origins of Strigoi are very, very interesting, but it's never really utilized. So if you're after a horror film, you're not going to you know, be pleased with this one because it does have a foundations for a horror film. There are moments in the movie, there are some scenes that are actually really well done, but they're never fully utilized. Now, the potential is never realized because Faye Jackson doesn't go that extra step. I felt that the, the, the scenes with the horror in it, if they were utilized to the full, I actually felt that it could have saved the film. It could have used a little bit of nastiness, although the overall idea is quite nasty. As I said, nothing is ever utilized. Nothing is ever used to the maximum potential, and that's something that is a grave disappointment for me. It stays on the similar line throughout the entire film. It doesn't go up to a climax, and it really doesn't have any twists and turns. Yes, there are a few things that you don't really realize, but it's done in such a bland way that when the truth is uncovered, it's just like, okay, well, yeah, I'm just waiting for the film to end. So that was bitterly, bitterly disappointing. A very, very dull film. I felt that, you know, in the future, if Faye Jackson wants to make a movie like this, you're going to set it in Romania, let the Romanian actors speak in their native language. Because I actually felt it would have contributed to a more solid, dramatic uh, approach, and it would have had the humour a little bit better as well. But as I said, visually it's a very good film, but it promises something that it just doesn't deliver and you can't help but think it was a missed opportunity because, you know, as I said, very good ideas. Faye Jackson, uh, you know, visually put her ideas to screen quite well, but as I said, she just tried to get a little bit tricky and the, the film really did suffer as a result. So I'm only going to give this two stars. It was bitterly disappointing, very boring, and it's not coming recommended. So that's my review for the Romanian English speaking film Strigoi the Undead. Very disappointing, but if you want something with an Eastern European feel and visually quite decent, then I would say give this one a rent. Alright guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you.